boy Lalo? It's your boy N-F-I-N-I-T-E-D-R-E from the M to the motherfucking Z, baby. It's Johnny, what's up? <laughs> what is that? What's good? And it's your boy Beto. Beto Salvez. And we're back in the, his building, like I said earlier. Yeah. This is uh, take number two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're back in Ken's building. He got a new spot out here in LA, man. He's been killing it in the game. We got the homie Ken Flores. What up, what up, man? Yeah. What up? Appreciate y'all having me back, man. Last time uh, was a blast. It was real fun and shit. I'm yeah. glad to do it again, man. Appreciate y'all having me, man. Yeah. Yeah, so right now we in your new spot and shit And bro This shit is nice as fuck I'm gonna go take a nap on your bed real quick <laughs> There's some snow angels Snow angels <laughs> in the bed Damn For sure It's gonna how, be how, how do you like this new it's shit? It's gonna be a lot of flaky uh, Dried up cum in that motherfucker Snow angels Dried up cum Cocaine man A <laughs> little bit of everything man That's yeah. right What'd you say though? How you like in LA bro? I love LA bro I told y'all the first time I came out here well, not the first time, but the first time I came on the podcast, yeah. like, it was a dream of mine to move out here. I really, uh, you know, that was my goal for the year. And I mean, we did that podcast in January, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. And I was, uh, by April, I was already, I was renting a room at my uncle's house uh, in the hood somewhere, bro. Yeah. Renting a little ass room, 500 bucks a month. He helped me out, kind of get my feet, uh, you know, grounded. And then a uh, little bit after that, right around August, I was able to get my apartment and shit. I've been in here ever since. I mean, I'm on the road all the time, but yeah. Yeah. at least I got somewhere to come home to, you know. Uh, Hell yeah, bro. Hell yeah. Hell, bro. It's crazy because like the first time uh we, we met you, you uh you were like co-headlining with the homie. Yeah. Um and now you're about to go on your own tour just by yourself, right? You're not co-headlining, or is it just you? Yeah, it's just me. Um yeah, I mean I was co we, me and Renee Walker were co-headlining some shows and I was featuring for a lot of the other shows, uh so I was really just opening up for him, you know. Um and then uh, you know, within that span the, in January was the first time that me and him had gone on the road together. And from January until like maybe like May, um, I was able to get my own my, my shit started blowing up even more online, you know. Uh, my, I uh, I was able to get uh, signed to an agency, which signs probably to the best agency in the country right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to homies at CAA. Yeah. My management is Arson House, so that's uh, Gabriel and Joe Coy's manager is my manager. Cool. Uh, so it's like I got the best team in Hollywood, you know, compared to from the first time we talked until now. My life has definitely completely changed, bro. That's yeah. crazy. It's just like us, like kind of seeing you do that shit, and we're like, we already knew for like even yourself. Yeah. you were like always confident. It was just about timing, huh? Yeah, it was about timing, but it's always there's, there's always that doubt, though. You feel me? Like yeah. until it happens, it's just like, what am I doing? You feel me? Like am I wasting my time? Especially moving out here. Like I, I was still working a nine to five job when I did the podcast the first time. You know, yeah. so. so, so Damn, nigga. <laughs> motherfuckers running that. They, they, they niggas running a marathon on the motherfucker. Fat kids out there. Right. Bro. Fat ass kids running up and down the hallway. You, you, it's crazy. Like, yeah. I never, that shit never happened. Yeah. Nobody ever walked down the fucking hallway. So yeah. we want to do a podcast of kids out of nowhere, man. Yeah. I never see the kid on this fucking property ever. <laughs> I'm going to complain, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Y'all ain't tell me you had a kids yet. Right. Yeah, no kids. Well, I be in this bitch. I be in this apartment doing heroin. <laughs> <laughs> well, kids. Uh, fucking no, bitches. I know. <laughs> fuck that. Yeah, I'm, uh, this fucking area is dope. When I was coming up, I fucking saw the, the pool. I was like, you guys got a pool? Uh, I'm about to up. slip right here. I don't know how to swim, but I'm floating up. I ain't, never seen, I ain't never seen nobody in that pool my whole life. And it's a heated pool, too. <laughs> we might have to jump in that motherfucker when we're done with the podcast. Let's do it coke. Yeah. Somebody, somebody <laughs> jump in. About a cannonball on that bitch. About to hit a bump and jump in. It's eight thing. feet. You better, you better swim. You know how to swim? Again? I know how to swim. Hell yeah, I know how yeah. to swim. Yeah, yeah don't, don't disrespect them like right. Yeah, oh, and yeah. I'm talking about swim, not floating. Okay, like, I this one. Swim, I can't swim. I can't swim. You can't swim. Yeah, Johnny, but he and he can't fuck up a whole pizza no, either. Yeah. I'll cap. <laughs> Cap, bro. <laughs> I need to fill up the four slices. Oh, man, shut up. That was on big ass. But he said he had McDonald's breakfast right before that. Yeah. So you should. Yeah. Yeah. Not on the hot seat. It was a light breakfast. I had two McMuffins. Look at him. He lying. He, <laughs> he stuttering and yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, we, this is like friendly fire. Friendly fire. Yeah. Like fat on fat crime. Fat hey on fat crime. Me too. From uh, Chicago, you said right. Yeah, my homie is from. He capping about swimming. Are you seen uh, swim? They have we gone swimming. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, <laughs> uh, nigga, that shit gay, nigga. 
Nah. Swimming he, he swam over here from Puerto Rico, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're Puerto Rican? Yeah. Oh, he's, he's from Brooklyn. He's from Brooklyn originally, but he lives in Chicago too. So Damn, I met him. Shit. I met him back home since high school. Uh huh. My doggy right here. Shit, you said ever since he landed, you guys just been going crazy, huh? <laughs> Man, he got here uh, on a tag. He got he got here yesterday. We, we he, as soon as he got here, um, shit, we just started rolling up. We probably smoked like four or five joints, and then from there, I was waiting for the fucking the cleaning lady to come clean because I'm lazy as fuck. <laughs> so when she got here, we left. We went to this place called Calaveras in North Hollywood. Hell yeah, man, we bought a fucking. As soon as I got, I'm like, I, I'm, I, I told my cousin, let me take you out to get some drinks with my boy. Just give us a ride. He's like, I got you, bro. Pulls up with his girl and shit. And I'm like, all right. I'm a, I, in my head, I was like, I'm going to get beer so then they get beer and I could save money. We could all just drink beer and then we will eat some food. Well, I don't know, bro. My demons took over as soon as I walked in. <laughs> and I was like, bottle, nigga. <laughs> bottle. Section. And you know why? Because I walked in and there was a wait time of 30 minutes. Uh. But... That'll but they it. recognized me <laughs> and they, 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 they were like oh no wait time for you bro so they went they they, they had a they had a section reserved for a birthday party they stole one of their tables <laughs> they, they, they stole one of their tables and they just put it in the middle of the whole party and let us sit down and then shit I got a bottle of Casamigo and they got me cause dude I was like how much the bottle cause dude come up to me it's gonna be cheaper if you just get the bottle but that's how they get you it don't be cheaper <laughs> it, it don't be cheaper at all cause I wasn't gonna spend $500 on beer you feel me like <laughs> Yeah. But the dude come up to me He's like bro I mean Because we, we did Have bought like Already like two shots And he's like bro Your bill's already Gonna be like 80 bucks mm -hmm. He's like you might as well Get the bottle The bottle's 300 yeah. I was like bet Let me get the bottle Then fuck it And he goes He comes back And he whispers in my ear It's actually 450 this But, oh, but, oh but I, I was like I already said yeah You know what I mean I was like I'm not finna backtrack now yeah. <laughs> I was like alright man Fuck it So we get the bottle of Casamigos man Shit we just pound, We pounded that whole Like shit quick bro yeah. Real quick, bro. This shit was a, we was active, man. And then from there, we ended up going to the fucking strip club. That's right, man. This, this strip club didn't sell no liquor. It was no bitches in there, nothing, bro. The Abandoned fuck? building, bro. Liquor <laughs> no liquor, no liquor. <laughs> they were selling. It was like a lemonade stand, rouse, bro. A, a lemonade stand for real, bro. <laughs> so we end up dipping from there. We go to uh, we go to the liquor store. The homie cop another Casamigos bottle. Uh, we get some beatboxes and shit. Those uh, yeah, little yeah, fuck yeah. you up drinks and shit, man. Fuck yeah. And uh, we chug those, bro. And we go into this different strip club. And I, and and then that, that strip club they sold liquor because I had been there before. And then. Um, as soon as we get in there, they're like, oh, they just took our license for 30 days. I was like, what the fuck, fuck was y'all doing, man? And this, yeah. this trip club is crazy because they be having, like, on Thursdays, they be having, like, UFC fights and shit. Like, <laughs> like they put up an octagon and the bitches fight. Yeah. You, yeah not like they show the UFC oh, on TV. No, no nigga, they put up a cage every Thursday uh -huh. and, uh, and bitches fight. <laughs> the bitches go like, damn. Imagine watching bitches fight sober. That shit boring. <laughs> and they just regular bitches do it? Not even UFC fighters? Nah, it's regular bitches, strippers. Yeah. That's and they got to go shake ass after. <laughs> Bro, I'm God. I'll, I'll beat up and shit. Uh -huh. And then, uh, yeah, but I was like, fuck it. So, shit, I pulled out like 500. My my boy pulled out like 500. And as soon as we got there, I already had my eyes on this one bitch. I knew her from the last time I was up there. Yeah. And she called her over. Start. It was just it was just us. It was just us and a group of black guys on the other side of the club. Nobody else was there because there was no liquor. So, I just started throwing money in the air, like going crazy. Like, we literally like... Like you ever seen those music videos where the whole floor is like money? Yeah. We, I, 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 was, I was doing it for my boy, you know. I was like, yeah. I don't even care for the hoes or the bitches. You feel me? Like I just like to watch the money fall and shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm retarded, <laughs> fool. I just be throwing it in the air and looking at it like a dumbass and shit. Oh uh, God, oh so satisfying. Yeah. It's like pimple popping videos and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh yeah bro and then uh and then the black guy started like walking around our section so i'm like like they probably like they're probably like mad that we came in here like yeah trying to like shit on them but it wasn't the case obviously i didn't give a shit about them but then when i when, when they walked a little bit closer one of the strippers she's like you know who that is i was like nah i can't see him he's black <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, I'm just kidding. but, but nah, i was just kidding no, okay. but she was like it's uh she's like it's mozzie the rapper mozzie and i'm a fan of mozzie so i was like oh shit for real and then his manager actually recognized me so he's like oh I fuck with you woo -woo. and I was like oh you're, you're, you're with Mozzie he's like yeah I'm his man I'm part of the management team I was like let me flick up with him so he took me with him took pictures we chopped it up and shit but it's pretty cool and uh yeah and then from there we went 
we got dropped off. My cousin dropped dropped us off at my apartment, and we was in here like we just. I think we took a shot of Casamigos, and I was like, "Man, fuck it, let's ride, it, nigga. Let's go to another strip club." <laughs> and he was like, "It was already like three in the morning." Oh, yeah. <laughs> we live. We got an Uber. We left the body here, bro. Went to a different strip club, weak ass strip club, bro. That shit was crazy as fuck, my nigga. Like, <laughs> that strip club was lit as hell. Oh God, I got my dick sucked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> shit was crazy. As soon as I walked in, was she was like, you want to go to the back? I was like, the back for what? She said, I do full service. I was like, what that mean? She's like, oh, no. Nah, hell. Changes Yeah, That bitch for the detail me. I'm for her. You need an alignment? I got you. She's like, she's like, I suck dick. She's like, you can fuck. I was like, man, fuck it. What are we doing here then? <laughs> man, let's get it to the point type shit. Yeah. And oh, shit, it was a movie. Man, <laughs> I, 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 these are jokes, by the way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. My girlfriend to watch this shit. Nigga. I'm finna get, I'm finna get left, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Entertainment purposes only, man. Yeah, it's like, it's like for comedy purposes. We, we ended up coming home like at seven a.m., bro. And I'm thinking, like, y'all told me I, I'm at the strip club, getting right there, getting it in, and motherfucker texts me, "Oh, bro, we'll see you tomorrow at one p.m." <laughs> like, man, fuck that podcast, man. <laughs> oh God, you cock blocking. <laughs> <laughs> but but uh but now man we kicked it this morning and shit I mean it's it's today Hell yeah <laughs> it's today to, it's good morning we, yeah good morning fool uh, nah yeah we fucked up the budget for the weekend though so <laughs> rice and tonight. rice and beans nigga Inside. Netflix nigga yeah, for the rent I'm, I'm gonna play YouTube videos strip club videos POV strip club <laughs> VR and shit that's fucked oh god bro. you got bottles over there. active though active we've been hella active bro yeah bro fuck it we've been noticing especially like on uh, <laughs> oh, literally bro every fucking week I got tour dates every every single week you're everywhere, bro. I'm like, this motherfucker don't sleep. <laughs> nah, man, I don't. That's the problem, bro. That's how I ended up at the fucking hospital and shit, bro. I was told you I need to slow down on that party. Yeah. In January, I told y'all that shit. Yeah. By by uh, June, I was in the hospital. <laughs> uh, Six it, months. It, it, oops. That's respectable. Shit. I really could have gone sooner, yeah, though. On business, bro. I literally, I almost not standing. <laughs> not almost collapsed on business, nigga. <laughs> I was on stage, almost fell over on stage in New York, bro. Nah. I was, yeah, we got bad because, well, I, I, the first part podcast i tell you i party hard you know and all that so then we we put the travel into into consideration um around april i lost my voice and i thought it was just like strep throat whatever yeah but it had something to do with like my lungs were fucked up and i was just always had shortness of breath like i'm already a big motherfucker so i'm yeah. already breathing heavy and then it got like worse you know i was like i couldn't even like I, we would go like to hotels you know like on the road and like to get from my room to the lobby it would be like a fucking mission for me like i would just be like hyperventilating i'm like man something is wrong you know yeah and i remember um for my birthday in june i had three shows in phoenix and i went and i did my shows and every day of the show it was three shows three different days mm -hmm. Every day, the manager gave me um, a Casamigos bottle, Damn. and Fuck. every day, every day I'll finish it by myself. Nah, the that's whole, crazy, right? the whole crazy. fifth, the whole. F I was, I was going crazy, bro. Top of that, I'm doing cocaine. Top of that, I'm smoking weed. Top of that, I'm fingering the waitress. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm on bullshit. You feel me? Comedian purchases. I'm, on, I'm on that. Yeah. And then, I, <laughs> hell yeah. And then I'm, I'm all that, <laughs> all that, all that. All that. All that. <laughs> and then, um, yo, you can just do it. All <laughs> bro, all. Every, every, yeah. everything, bro. for real. We, 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 we ended up going. Uh, I ended up going back to LA after Phoenix that weekend, and then uh, I had a flight from LA to Philly, so literally across the country. And my legs were like swollen, like I couldn't breathe. I was bad, bro. Like my legs are swollen right now, but this On ain't shit. When you my shit was like, nigga, my shit looked like him, bro. Like <laughs> shit was crazy. My whole leg, your son. My, my leg looked like your whole body. Is what I'm saying though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not any better. Yeah. Not any better. <laughs> the damage control is good. Hurt me more. Come on, man. Yeah. But look, I, I request. I requested us to be on the same couch. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. We don't fuck that one up. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> like, I want to look skinny. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, on this couch. Don't fuck it up. I it's comfortable though. These couches are really fucked. Tanto su meals a la verga. But we we end up going. Uh, so I get on that flight right from LA to Philly. When I get to Philly, I get to my 
hotel and it's just like bad. It just keeps getting worse, bro. Like mm. I can't even like every every like I will breathe and they'll be like, <laughs> like it was that was it. I couldn't nah. take no more air, bro. Mm. So I was like nervous and shit. And then I did the I did the show that night. I walked um, from where the Uber left me to like the door of the comedy club at the Punchline in Philadelphia, bro. I got to the green room and I was like drenched in sweat. Like it was bad. So they ran and they got me an inhaler, like an over the counter inhaler at Walgreens, mm. and I was just hitting the inhaler. But I'm not. I don't have asthma, so I didn't even know what the inhaler was doing. Really, yeah. Uh, I was just hitting it, and instead I was getting worse. You feel me? So I did that show, and then the next day we traveled to Jersey, and we did another show in Jersey. I felt like shit the whole time. I wasn't even drinking, and then from there, um, I went to New York, and in New York we had five shows, and we did two shows the first night, two shows the second night, and then oh no, sorry, three shows the first night. No, no, two shows the first night, three the second night. So the the fourth show, which would have been the second of the night, second to last, you know, it was a 9 p.m. show. I was supposed to do 30 minutes right before Renee. And by the 15 minute mark, bro, I couldn't like find the air to fucking nah, talk nah, anymore. Nah. Mm -hmm. I was like dozing off. I was like, I, I'm sorry, like I gotta go. And I just wrapped up my set and I walked off stage. And my plan was to go back to LAX because I had my flight was the next day. Mm -hmm. Go back to LAX and not even go anywhere, just go straight to the hospital. But at that point, I was like, I'm not gonna make it. Mm -hmm. I'm not making it to LAX. A fucking five hour flight. Fuck that. Mm -hmm. So. um I just told my tour manager, I was like, I'm going to the hospital. I got to see what's up. This is getting oh, crazy. Shit. Yeah. So they're like, fuck it, we're going with you. So they dropped everything. And we left Renee there. He performed. But the, my whole the team came with me. He was, Renee's like, everybody go with him. Mm -hmm. So we went and we went. We checked. It was in Manhattan. And uh, I, 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 we walked in the hospital. And uh, they, they checked my blood pressure as soon as I walked in. Psh, shit, as soon as they checked my blood pressure, they shut the whole fucking hospital down. <laughs> they were like, hell no. Nah. <laughs> they, they, they brought in the trauma team. Like oh, It was like those. TV oh, shit like nah. motherfuckers get shot you know like yeah. it was like that bro they threw me on the fucking thing on the gurney yeah on the gurney all that shit bro they took they take me straight to the back like in the ER ER like intense carry and all that yeah. and then um <laughs> They they start uh, they take off my shirt and they 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 right away they put a fucking uh, mask on me and shit for air, for air yeah, and then they start um they're like we need to, we need a we need to put some uh, IV in you ASAP like mm -hmm. we need to see what's wrong but then um they couldn't fuck they 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 couldn't see what's wrong with my lungs so they they they're, they're going to uh, they start ultrasounding my shit like like literally like <laughs> ultrasounding my yeah. like I was pregnant nigga yeah. they start ultrasounding <laughs> my motherfucking bro and they look like <laughs> it looked like I was pregnant like yeah. Cheeseburger. I know, I know some, I know some niggas in there walking around like this nigga trans, yeah. Yeah, this nigga trans, <laughs> fat ass like bitch. <laughs> They found the yeah. down there. Bro, on God. Yeah, shit on God. I was like, this they, they was like, this nigga like a pit bull. We even have eight, eight kids. <laughs> I'm here for the abortion. He's like, he's yeah. like Bro. So, um, and I remember, I remember like even still at that moment, I was still cracking jokes. Like they, they had ran, the guys like, oh, we ran out of lube, lubricant for the, for the thing. Yeah. And I just, I looked at them, I was like, spit on that shit. <laughs> they start laughing and shit. Yeah. And, fi and then finally, like they just got their shit together. They ended up trying to do like, like IV, they finally found my vein, bro. After a minute, stabbed me like eighty times, and then they put that shit in me. And uh, pause. And then they put that shit in me. And uh, I, I just like, I just remember like, um, they were just like uh, running hella tests. They put like shit on my back to take like like X rays, everything, bro. Yeah. And like it was, it was probably like eleven. So around like three or four in the morning, they came and they were like, they were like, um, so what, what um. You know, I told them, they're like, what are you taking? Because I'm taking this, 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 um, I don't know what the shortness of breath is for, but I'm taking this fucking, um, uh, inhaler. And they, and, and I showed them the inhaler. And I guess the inhaler, what it did was, um, it, it speeds up the heart. So then the heart can pump oxygen yeah. into the lungs. But the reason my lungs were like that is because there was fluid in them because my heart rate was already so fast because it was like high blood pressure, cocaine, no sleep, alcohol. On top of that, I had never taken medicine. I've never, I had never gone to the doctor over this shit, you know, even though I know that I've had high blood pressure for a long time. I never, I, you know, I just never had a scare like that. I know what he's trying to so I never took shit. it serious. Yeah. And then, so they're like, you just got like years of fucking abuse and <laughs> neglect of your body. Yeah. And then on top of that, you're doing drugs and drinking and you're traveling every day. Yeah. Like, yeah, this shit's bound to happen. She's like, they're like, but you're young. So we're going to, 
we're gonna help you out so yeah bro like what they did was i got a whole bunch of lasix which is basically to make you pee to make sure that your kidney's good so i had to get i had just had i just had like Flush my body was just in child with all the fluid yeah. that i couldn't get out of my body so then I, I just basically had to pee in a fucking little jug for like three days straight no like i had, they gave me like one ice cube a day for for like liquids i couldn't intake no liquid water doesn't matter nothing i couldn't take in shit bro fuck that so i was like bro like you don't realize how much water how good water is yeah. until you can't have none yeah. for like two days you're like bro i was i was literally telling the nurses like i'll do whatever like and i remember like telling i would go to the bathroom they didn't want me to go to the bathroom uh because then like i'm by the second day they found out that i had blood clots they're like so they're like so your blood clots um like if you move around and shit a lot that shit can move and it could like kill you person you die yeah, yeah. You, you go up to your brain and stuff yeah so so they were like you gotta like you gotta like this is not a joke you know so i mean at that point it's still like to me it was like whatever you know i didn't yeah, how do you talk to a comedian though I mean, like I said, I, it's not a joke. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, to, <laughs> bro, that's not even the worst part. I'll tell yeah, you. The whole thing, the kids in the hospital, this whole thing is just happening. He's like, bro, my next hour is gonna kill, <laughs> bro. <laughs> it, it's killing too. It's killing. My hospital <laughs> jokes are killing, bro. I'll tell you right now. Watch, but so anyway, I, so I was sneaking into the bathroom, bro, just to like make little cups with my hands and drink out of the sink because they wouldn't give me no water, bro. Yeah. And then eventually, bro, um, well, we came to the conclusion that yeah, basically because of the high blood pressure pressure everything else kind of started fucking up mm -hmm. so i had to take high blood pressure medicine blood thinners and lasix to get all the liquids out of my body so um they gave me like a week supply and then i had to go to the to the to the, to the pharmacy to get my reop or whatever but i didn't go because um i had to go to chicago to do some shows and i was kicking in with my homie ralph barbosa shout out ralph yeah, shout out. and he invited me to a, a show with a He's like, bro, me and Dave Chappelle are going to do a, a, like a secret show uh, in New York. He's like, if you want, come through. And I even checked myself early at the hospital just to go to the fucking show, bro. Yeah. <laughs> and then I never went to pick I never went to pick up the medicines. And uh, and I went to Chicago. And in, since I was feeling good again, I hadn't felt that good since like January. Yeah. So I was feeling good again. I was like going hard again. So now I'm home. I got money in my pocket. No medicine. It's been the first time I'm back home since like April or something. No medicine. So I went hard as fuck all weekend then on top of that i didn't even come back to la i went to miami because we had <laughs> we had shows in miami so nigga we're miami bro we fucking yeah. it off we go to the strip we go to tootsies <laughs> we go to fucking um man we were all over the fucking place in miami bro like we were hanging out with this porn star luna star shout out luna star <laughs> shout out luna she watches shout yeah. Yeah. yeah that's my yeah. hero yeah. yeah so it was like crazy bro real movie shit you know and then uh from there i went back to la and it only took like like maybe three weeks before I was even worse than the first time. Damn. I just because I, I was just going twice as hard since since I was just I felt better, yeah, you know. You good. I was just going, and then one day I was just like, I remember I was doing hella drugs, and but I was already feeling shitty, and I just started coughing up hella blood, and I was like, what the fuck? And I refused to go to the hospital. <laughs> I was like, fuck that shit, I'm not going again. But then it got to a point where like every time I would like breathe in, my back would like hurt, like it was bad, bro. Oh, so I went back to the hospital. Like I just Ubered that night. I remember I was still with my uncle and I Ubered to the hospital. Now I'm in LA. So that first time was in Manhattan. Yeah. This time I'm in LA and in LA, um, as soon as I got there, I told the doctor, I was like, you know what? I was in the hospital for this, this, and this a month ago. They gave me meds. I didn't take them. I never picked up my actual, uh, you know, prescription. And um, I'm back where I was. And then he's like, yeah. And then he's like, and on top of that, he's like, well, your blood work already came back positive for cocaine. He's like, I can actually see the cocaine still on your nose right now. <laughs> I was I was like, so embarrassing, you know? Yeah. I was like, fuck. So he's like, so he's like, we're going to help you out right now. But if you don't get your shit together, he's like, you're going to die. He's like, you're 27, but your heart's like, you're putting it through, like, it's, it's worse than some of the patients I got that are 80 years old. Yeah. So I was like, fuck, you know? So then that one was more like a, like a, a eye-opening shit. So I went, I got my medicine. I got everything. I was there for like a week and a half. They wanted to give me like a fucking chaleco. The ones that like, um like if you fucking start to like slow your rate, it shocks you and shit, nigga. <laughs> I like, think I'm gonna be walking around like a fucking, <laughs> like a like, like a like a Doberman and shit, nigga. <laughs> yeah, nigga. I was, I was like, I ain't finna wear that shit. I'd rather die. <laughs> 
and then he was like, or we could give you a, a oxygen tank. I was like, nigga, I, what am I, a, a black lady, nigga? I'm not gonna <laughs> walk around with a fucking oxygen, walk around with a fucking oxygen tank and shit, bro. I was like, hell no. This is a Nas tank, bro. Nah, bro, I'm, I'm dying. I'd rather die. <laughs> but, but I did take my, started taking my meds. The, the worst part about that shit, bro, is when they give you, um, when they start giving you those blood thinners, you get like diarrhea. And I was also only eating fruit. I wasn't eating no solids and shit. So now the fruit had me all fucked up, bro. So I had like hella diarrhea, but they wouldn't let me use the bathroom because they didn't want me to move around. So they used to put this little chair next to me with like a little toilet uh, bowl, but you just shit into like a, a bucket. So I was just sitting there shitting into like a bucket, awkward as fuck. <laughs> and I remember one time, bro, I, I was laying down. Like I couldn't make too much like strength because i have not all fucking shit myself. Mm -hmm. And one time um, this fine ass nurse walks in, bro, and she's she recognized me. Yeah. And she's like, oh, you know, I like, I was just watching your videos. They're talking about you in the lobby. We love, we love, we, we love, we, we love your stuff. Yeah. Is that Dude, shit? Is bro, no, no, no. I'll tell you, bro. She's like, we love your stuff, whatever. So I'm like, yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. She's like, can you hook us up with tickets? You know, you know, just starting conversation. I'm like, yeah, I'm hooking y'all up with tickets. I was like, can you do me a favor, though? I, I need to use the restroom. Like, can you help me up? Because I couldn't even get up, like, yeah. on my own. And I'm wired up, all kinds of shit, you know? So she, yeah, so she starts helping me up, bro. And in una de esas, you know, when you get in the hospital, you got the gown. So, like, your ass is open, yeah, the back is out. Everything's out, you know? <laughs> so, she helps me get up, like, sit up. And then when I go to get up, like, on my feet, all I heard, like, you ever fart, but you don't feel the fart? You just hear the cheeks kind of open and close, like, pop. Like, like, I made them clap, like a little clap and shit. My, che my cheeks had a yeah. little clap. Well, we got a bro. Clap on. All I do, all I do was look down. It was just like a fucking, like three or four, like kiss drop shits. Nah. Like, yeah, bro. And the worst part was like, her as a nurse, I felt like she should have fucking turned around. Like, even if she knew what happened, she should. But this bitch gonna look down at the same time as me. We both looked at the shit and we both looked at each other. She ain't even say shit to me, nigga. She just, she, she just turned around. And I was like, I'll hook you up with the tickets. Like, uh, I, I got you with the tickets, I swear. But that shit was embarrassing. Bro, it was embarrassing so as fuck, That's bro. Job. Well, and then I and then for the first time ever, the, I also had somebody wipe my ass. I felt uh, bad for them. That must have felt bad. I felt yeah. bad, bro. Tight though, right? Cause yeah. It, yeah, it's fire, good. yeah. Cause she had like warm towels and all that. Yeah. But I'm like, bro, like she got out a pressure washer and shit. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> oh god, they put me, they put me through the motherfucking uh, <laughs> to the jet bright car wash and shit. <laughs> But no, nah, but oh, wow. it was, bro, I felt yeah. bad, bro. Like she cleaned, bro. And it was funny because like you ever take a shit and you just keep wiping and it don't end. Yeah, I yeah, felt yeah, like yeah. she was like, nigga, what the <laughs> fuck, bro? She she went through like a trash bag of fucking towels and all kinds of shit, bro. It was bad, bro. And on top of that, I wasn't able to shower for like three, four days. Yeah, I'm a fat motherfucker. You know, we stink day one. Bad. So like by day five, bro, I felt bad for them. <laughs> I was like, bro, don't even come in here. Like I'm. I'm embarrassed. I'm embarrassed. I remember the day they finally let me shower, bro. Oh my god, bro! I just sat and scratched my nuts for like 40 minutes, bro. Just scratch the scum off my nuts, bro. Is the first time? How many days were you in in Manhattan? The first time in Manhattan, I was like four days. And then the second time, like like a week and a half, they wouldn't let me leave. Uh, but the, but I also checked out early. Mm -hmm. were, I, I checked out against medical advice. Mm -hmm. So if anything happens, it's not on them. It's on me. Yeah. But I had to do it, bro, because I had shows to do, and. They wanted At to that time, like it was in June. Shit? Huh? They wanted to keep you like another week or what? And they didn't tell me. They were like, we, could just, we just want to keep you. Yeah, but I'm like, bro, fuck that. Y'all going to run my bill up. That's what I'm gonna say. So I'm yeah, like, fuck that. I'm it. straight. You know, like I got to go. I feel better. I'm going to take my meds and I'm going to slow down. And I sure enough, I did all that shit. And I feel better for a long, long time. Right now, recently, I got sick. Um, my, um, I, I, we, I just got like a fever and shit. I think it was COVID. And it fucked my lungs up again a little bit. But it's not as nearly as bad as that shit. As that shit, bro. That, I wouldn't wish that shit on anybody, bro. But again, it just... Discipline, you feel me? And then yeah, yeah, yeah. trying to trying to slow down and shit. But again, it's crazy because like I was already living like that broke. So then you, <laughs> you start making money, you know, everything yeah. starts to feel like a celebration. You feel me? Like ah, oh, shot party, fuck it. And it's just like fuck, nigga. Like you can't have that all the time.
Nah, for sure, nah. I don't know. Uh, yeah. What do you, so then, aside from that, is there anything like you're gonna start like working out or anything or what? No, nah, just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. Like yeah. I, I'm trying to be more active. I mean, I ain't gonna lie, you can't just start by like oh, I'm gonna go hit a mile right now, you know. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah. I, I, I try, like I try to be active around the neighborhood. Like I, I, now that I live over here, like it's nice ass neighborhood. You can walk. Uh, yeah, I walk, I walk around the neighborhood. I mean, it ain't shit, but for a motherfucker like me that wasn't doing shit before, mm -hmm. it, it, it helps me at least like get a little bit of condition because and I'll be at the airport is dying bro like well, they be I don't know why the fuck every time I fly somewhere I get the last gate in the fucking airport <laughs> bro uh -huh. yeah I don't I think it's a myth like I don't think anybody has ever bought a plane ticket yeah. and they walk in the airport and they're like oh my shit right here at the entrance <laughs> Never done yeah, like those are paid yeah. actors I'm not even those are not even real fucking gates bro <laughs> 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 bro, bro. It's a trip the bullshit. Yeah. I took a flight last yeah. to Mexico and I went to my gate all the way to the end they switched it oh is it the other side of the airport now fuck, fuck you bro yeah. I yeah, would have missed that flight. Funny. You better run. You know, <laughs> you know what's funny? When uh, we went to uh, film that video with Ken for Johnny's channel. Yeah. <laughs> he had a nurse come in, right, to uh, give him IV. And then he's like, oh, you're not going to find my my veins. They couldn't find them last time. He's, and she's like, don't worry. I'm a professional. He's all joking around, and she, bro. And she was there for like 30 minutes looking for his Looking vein. for the vein? <laughs> no, my. Well, well, she got cocky. Cause I knew it was going to be a problem, but I forgot about it. So I didn't think about it until she showed up. I was like, damn, I should have probably let him know. Like, hey, my veins are kind of, I'm a big motherfucker. And my, I'm dehydrated. Obviously, that's why you're here, right? And uh, it's going to be a little hard to find. Because both times I was in the hospital, they couldn't find them. They had to do ultrasound to find my veins. Nah, bro. <laughs> There was this one motherfucker that came in there cocky as fuck, put a big ass needle in my shit. He's like, I got it, walked out. Nigga, I look at my hand, that shit was swole as fuck. <laughs> It, he didn't find the vein, bro. He just put a needle random as fuck. My whole, boom, bro, my whole hand was like full of, full of, was full of the fucking, the, the IV shit, bro. Yeah. It hurt, bro. Yeah, like then, the, the, little fucking pink ass arms. Bro, they, they took it out, bro. Bro, that shit deflated, nigga. Like, it was blood everywhere, bro. Bad. It was yeah. bad, bro. It was bad. I once I had to get a blood taken out for, for a fucking infection. And sure, they had a bro. Tell me why I walk in. It's a trainee, bro. A trainee? Oh, no, a trainee. <laughs> oh. nah, they were like, oh, it's, my, it's my first was week. Chlamydia, it's my first week. I'm getting trained to do this. I'm All like, right. cool, for sure. Uh, I'm glad you got me to fucking train on. Yeah. That bitch couldn't find the, bro. She's training on you? It's pretty easy. I can find it, bro. It's right there. Yeah. <laughs> that bitch was poking th th like three times, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Somebody just had to come in and fucking. Damn. They put out like a bro. tapatio bottle of fucking a blood out. You just know something's not meant for you. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah. Bitch, Phlebotomy's not for you. But it, but it was funny because Ken warned her, right? He was like, nah, like, it's going to be hard to find that. She's like, nah, I'm a professional. I'm a professional. She's like, I'm the best. Yeah. Thir 30 <laughs> minutes later, uh, she's still looking. And then he's, Ken's like, nah, it's cool. If you can't find it, it's cool. She's like, yeah, all right. And she packs all her shit, closes the door. Ken goes, professional, huh? <laughs> <laughs> cool for yeah. She was cool, but hey, man. How much does that shit run you, though, just to get an IV like that? 300. Three bills? 300. Out here in LA, though. Huh? Imagine out there in fucking the IE. They don't even come out. Hey, 50 yeah, bucks. Yeah. Hey, no, I'm saying that there probably isn't any and shit. Oh, yeah, that's true. So. No, Ivy thinks it'll be like a rack and shit. Shit, fuck oh, that. Fuck. I mean, there's services, though. Like, I guess you got to look for it, you know? They're, yeah. Because people use that shit all the time. It's become more common and common. But, yeah. but yeah, man, shit. Um, you got to do that type of shit, you know? Yeah. To live like that. Yeah, bro, you definitely live in fucking... You, you be living the fast life. It is... It is Chilling. It's cool to see on IG stories though. I'll be like, uh, I'm going yeah, I'm like yeah, yeah. Yeah. life's a movie. Yeah, motherfucker, <laughs> life's a movie. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that shit can't take a toll. But I mean, I've been I've been lucky enough to 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 to, to that the highs outbalance the lows. You know, that's just I guess some of the dark shit that's happened since the last time we spoke. But yeah, some cool shit too. Like, I mean, um. Me and me and Fluffy, we've, we've we we I was able to open up for him and, and at the United Center in Chicago crazy, and at bro. the Toyota yeah. Arena in Ontario. So that was like a more, like he would let me fly on his private jet with him. It was how crazy. did shit come about? Yeah, bro? yeah, yeah. How did you like? Do, how did you? What, when I was in the hospital, so so I signed that to, next to, to so I signed to. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, shout out Fluffy, yeah, everyone yeah, on the podcast. He yeah, was doing blood. He donated blood for us. <laughs> nah, nah, um. We I signed to the management company he signed to, so they kind of, and and my agent is his agent, so okay. we got the same team basically. So it was a matter of time for them to just kind of link us, link us together, you know. Yeah. They don't got he don't got to work with me, you know. It's not a mandatory, but obviously, you know, if we get a co-sign, it, it means a lot, especially from him, who's one of the best in the game right now. Yeah. So um, he uh. 
I had already got word from around, from his team, like, yo, um, he fuck he fucks with you. And then he had gave me a shout out on a podcast, I think the Full Community podcast. Oh yeah. He, yeah. He, he gave me a shout out on there, and I was like, all right, that's cool as fuck. And then when I was in the hospital in LA, he DM'd me. He was like, hey, uh, I heard you're you know in the hospital, man. He's like, don't let um. Don't let the party distract you from your goals. It was kind of a dope message, you know, like, yeah. like, it, it, like he checked up on me, make sure I was good, but he also told me like, don't get carried away in this shit. You yeah. feel me? Like you got a long way to go. You frame it? Nah. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so I was like, bet. And we talked, and then um, when I got out of there, I was in Texas. We were, me and Renee were doing like a, maybe like a seven city. Seven City, Texas tour, and I remember just drive. I, I remember um, he posted that he was gonna do the Chicago show on uh, October 26, and I was just like, "Damn, I'm gonna be in Chicago two days after that. Like, it'll be dope to like, you know, I don't know, at least get to hang out with him backstage yeah, yeah, or yeah. something." Yeah. So, uh, but I didn't reach out, but I reached out to my manager, uh, which is the same team, and I was like, "Hey, man, let me know if we can do something about um, you know, getting me on that show." Yeah. Cause that's something we have flirted with before, like the idea of possibly doing shows for Fluffy, like start that for me, you know. And um, so then, uh, you know, I, I just kind of put it up in the air, and then Fluffy DMs me when I'm in, I'm like on my way from like McAllen to Laredo or something, middle of nowhere, and he's just like, "Hey Ken, you know, I'm gonna have a show in Chicago on this day. I know that's your hometown. Would love for you to open up for me, do a surprise spot. Um, yeah. Let me know if you're down." So I was like, "Man, like." This shit was like something I had pictured in my head like a million times, but yeah. it was also seemed like unrealistic. Yeah. And when he gave, when he actually, when the offer came in, I was like, Psh, hell yeah. That's crazy. So I was like, man, of course it'd be an honor. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A million times. Yeah. And then. Um, Did you try to play it cool though? Of course, you know, but I was, I mean, but. <laughs> you look at the message, like, I'll reply like in 10 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'll let you know. Nah, nah, nah. nah, 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 nah. I, I, like, Hella busy. It, it, no matter how hard, like, I, I, I try I try to seem like that, but yeah. not like, nah, that, I, seconds, you can't, I can't. Because I, 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 I'd be scared he's going to change his mind and shit. <laughs> so I was like, he unsends it. <laughs> Fuck. It's a vanish mode. Like, Fuck. Fuck. I saw it, Fluffy. So please, Fluffy, please. Suck your dick. <laughs> and uh, Get well soon. you like IVs, right? man. So from there we end up. Uh, well, shit, we did the fucking show. Rock that motherfucker, That's bro. Right. It was yeah. dope as fuck. And then uh, yeah, because I was able to. So I flew in. So I flew in with his jet to Chicago. And when we got out of his jet, his tour bus was already waiting for, for him there. Yeah. Literally parked next to the fucking jet. We get in his tour bus. That's his actual tour bus that he owns. So he's custom made for him. It's like all big motherfucking Fuck. shit. Badass shit. There was already paparazzi waiting for him at the airport. Fuck. So it was crazy to see, you know? And then we go from there. We pull up to the United Center straight into the fucking, where the Bulls park and shit. You feel me? Like, they, they had just had the game, the Bulls game the day before. Mm -hmm. So, like, they had the, the hoops and the wood floor right there. You could see all of that shit right there. I was like, damn. Fuck. And then I walked in. I mean, shit, my parents were there. Yeah. My dad's boss was there. Like, it was just like a... It was like a like a, it was for, more for my parents than for me. For me, it was cool, but it was more for I wanted them to see like the magnitude of the shit, you know? Yeah. Like how far we came, and then um, the show, everything. I went. I did really well. Like it went really good. But to top it off, at when he got done, um, he he brought me on stage, only me, and he kind of did this whole like um, you know, this kid is the future. Uh, you know, he's your very own Chicago. Like, you know, and, and he and talked to my parents. In Spanish, like from the stage, and Fuck. so he's like, he's like, oh, lo, y para los papás de, de Ken, su hijo es increíble. So it was just like, damn, you know. And, and, every, and then the up? whole place is going crazy. I was, but I'll tell you guys about that shit off camera. But okay, okay, okay. but but there, but the like like it was you know twenty thousand people in that motherfucker, bro. Yeah. So then uh, yeah, so it was dope as fuck. We get off stage, and then the dopest thing like that was dope. But the dopest thing for me was um. Just looking down the, the 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 tunnel, you know, like where the players come out, because that's where my parents were gonna come in through, so we can take them backstage again. And when they came in, my my, my pops was bawling, bro. Yeah. Like he was like crying and shit. And I had never seen him like do that, you know. So I was like, yeah. dope, you know. I was like, hey man, like you know, this is starting to work out, you know. Like we getting somewhere here, you know. Yeah. My management, they met my managers for the first time, my agents and shit, and they're like, yeah, this kids, kids, the truth, man. We go. We gonna take care of him and shit. So you got past the torch, bro. That's yeah, yeah, and, and it was at home, you know. Yeah. So it was, it was, it was real fucking dope, you know. Shit like that just happened, you know. And then, I mean, just all, all kinds of other shit, you know. But just to be on the on the winning team really is uh, 
is it, dope because the, the way they've kind of the, the meetings we've had and everything is kind of like um i'm basically set up to like be his successor in a way you know like yeah, hell yeah. to carry the torch from him but i mean i still got a lot of work to do i'm barely starting you know so yeah. Yeah. but but i mean i'm glad that the they, Hollywood knows who I am now. You feel me? Like Fuck yeah, so now it's just like a matter of like putting in the work and staying, staying uh, consistent. You know, I think the shit is most impressive. I think we told you that last time. I was like, you fucking surprised. You're like, oh, I just started this shit, and then all the magnitude that you're at now is like, damn, fools yeah. who have been doing this shit 10, 15 years. Yeah, they fucking wish they were you. Yeah. You know? Yeah, bro. Like we put, yeah. put, the, put the fucking pedal to the metal all year, and and you could definitely see the results. I mean, the difference. I mean, that's true too. Like I don't see anybody else touring yeah. like like you, yeah. bro. Yeah, I'm yeah, be no, real. Like no. you're, you're, actually, you're, you're yeah, putting yeah. your shit to the to the test every week. Yeah, every week. And I mean, nah, shit. Not every show is the best. You know? Mm -hmm. See, I, I went to fucking. I mean, I did six sold-out shows in Covina. We sold over 1,200 tickets. Then I did a show in Huntsville, Alabama <laughs> two weeks before that. And the, the, the two days before the show, I had sold seven tickets. Nah. The day, I don't know what happened. The day of the show, we ended up closing at 100, you know? So it was good, but the room hold 400 mm. so it still looked empty yeah. Yeah, you feel look, me yeah, yeah. and uh i mean you know shit like that that kind of like you have ha, it, it, you doubt yourself but you got to do it you feel me because you got to break into those markets because now yeah. those 100 people they really like the show like every single one of them stayed to meet me and you take a picture with me up to their city you know yeah so now so, so now they're like next time you come now we're gonna double it or triple yeah. it whatever you know it may be mm -hmm. so um you know it's a uh, yeah some of they're not not everything's the best but sometimes you gotta still go through that shit to get to you know where you want to be. You know, of any of that was, it's stand up live in Huntsville, Alabama. Damn. Shout out to them. Shout out to people. <laughs> I wonder how many people, how many uh, brown motherfuckers like us are out there in Huntsville, Alabama. Well, Alabama. Well, no, no, there Probably was just those there, there was definitely Latinos, bro. Yeah. And uh, the thing is that that city is now the biggest city in Alabama um, because they're um, they have uh, the space uh, station. So they have okay. they, they oh, launch shit. rockets and shit from there. Yeah. So like most of the city is like rocket scientists. Mm -hmm. Rich ass motherfuckers. Yeah. You're making you're making scientist jokes? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> but I was like, that's what y'all doing out here? Like I would have never thought I thought motherfuckers was out here fucking their cousins and shit. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? Like Lucky, I, yeah. I got family out there in Alabama. I don't, yeah. It's not in that city, but I got people. Yeah. In your, your family's like, yeah, man. They're not rocket scientists. I thought they were fucking cousins somehow. No, nah. <laughs> well, I was, I was gonna say, fuck it. So you went from obviously you played clubs, you played uh, even like medium sized venues, and then you go perform yeah. with uh, Fluffy. You said the Toyota Arena, and then you said the United Center. United Center. Like, what was the biggest difference you think from? From going from like a smaller scale to that bigger scale, I mean, it's definitely you definitely lose the connection between you and the people because at a club you can see somebody's real life reaction in front of you, you know, as you're saying something, so you can react to it at the moment. When you're in an arena, it's like everybody looks like ants, mm -hmm. you know. So it's just kind of you just talking into the void, and you hope you hear laughter back. Mm -hmm. And the first one at the United Center, it was the first time I had ever done an arena. So it was like, I wasn't, my timing wasn't correct. So I didn't finish everything I wanted to say. Um, I probably said some shit that I probably could have left out, but it went good enough that I was, I was happy with it, you know? When I went to do the Toyota arena, I was already, um, I was already familiar with the setting. Yeah. So I was like, okay, now I know how I gotta pace myself and do this shit so it could work it could work out for the for the best, you know, I could give it the best ten minutes. So I kinda cut off most of my set and did and slowed down a little bit so they could laugh at the punchlines because in arena laughing it takes a little bit to Quiet the down. You know, even if it's not the funniest uh, shit, you're just like, hurry up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but but I was able to let them let them laugh through through everything, and and I ended like I timed it perfect. I ended it like at ten on the dot zero zero ten minutes. That was crazy. And but when I remember when they called me out because that that day um that day they brought up uh, Jerry Garcia. Shout out Jerry Garcia. Uh, Jerry Garcia. Um, Jesus Sepulveda. Shout out him. And then my boy Rene Vaca. And then I wasn't supposed to go up. But I showed up to the venue to support my boy Renee, yeah. and that's when Fluffy's like, "I want you to go up too." That's a great ass lineup, bro. Yeah. I, was, I was like, yeah. "Fuck it, fire lineup!" Like and I got to go up right before Fluffy, so by that time everybody's already in their seats, like yeah. they're ready for him, you know. So when I when I got called on stage, 
That's not flat. It was kind of, yeah, it was kind of <laughs> like, um, I don't want to say crickets, but it was kind of like quiet, you know? Like, like a fifth. You know, because sometimes you feel like you're going to get a pop, like, uh, but, but you know, but I did it and I was like, all right, whatever, let me work for it. By the time I got off stage, bro, I got a bigger pop than anybody, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. they went wow. crazy, bro. It was, it was, it was dope, bro. It was dope as fuck. When you do like arenas like that, is there like, a big delay in the laughter like because the sound hasn't reached like to a certain yeah bro certain spot yeah yeah and it's not not really not necessarily because the sound hasn't reached uh -huh. it's just because it's so hard to get everybody to be quiet at the same time you know like oh, okay. some people might find shit funnier than others yeah, yeah. and laughter is contagious too mm -hmm. so sometimes like Sometimes you might not even be paying attention to everything I'm saying, but you hear the arena laugh and your body almost automatically laughs with them, you know? Sure. It's very it's very contagious, yeah. But um I mean, obviously for money reasons and for bragging reasons, I would one day want to be a arena act, you know, like to do an arena right, would yeah. be obviously insane. But there's nothing like doing a fucking club, bro. Like a sold out Ontario improv. There's nothing like that. You Motherfuckers know, they're buck wild. Yeah. Like it's like a half a moon, like Ontario improv. I'll probably say like maybe Irvine, like those clubs that are like 600, 700 people yeah. are perfect. Even like a 300 seater is perfect, bro. Like I've, I've heard comedians say that shit though. It's good to have everything in your arsenal. Like even who's who play arenas constantly, they still got to go to a smaller club to test out material and like, yeah, because just you, remember that setting. Yeah. Yeah. Because like they'll let you know if it's shit funny or not like yeah. obviously everybody that comes to your show is gonna be on your side mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and then maybe maybe the next time they're gonna be like ah maybe we won't go this year last time it was okay mm -hmm. so that way you got you got to come back and you got to test it with people that not necessarily don't know who you are but might not be diehard fans that are willing to pay you know a yeah. hundred dollar ticket so you pop in at a club they're not expecting you they're not gonna fucking fake laugh at your shit so you better make them laugh for real you know yeah. and you'll find out you know Hey, so so, for the, oh yeah, wait, wait, no, go ahead. I was, just, I was gonna ask. I saw on the video that you did with Johnny. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. It's funny as fuck. It's on Jeff Field. Uh, you said that uh, more of your stuff nowadays you're gonna try to open up more instead of being like so like. You, you said you feel like your jokes are more like hitting, 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 and you want to be better at like the, the, the silence. You said. Yeah, like in use of silence. Yeah, yeah, just because like. Uh, because this tour is about to take a toll on me. Like, we did six shows for Covina, and, like, I was sick. And I, and I guess that was, yeah, obviously it's going to take a lot more. But the thing is also that um, I was running my set too fast. Like, like uh, you get paid. Your contract is for an hour or, or 40 minutes to an hour to, to, to headline, right? Mm -hmm. And I have the hour, but sometimes I'm, I don't want them people to be quiet or silent. So I just do joke after joke after joke after. And before I know it, I'm like, fuck. I've been up here 25 minutes and I'm over halfway my shit. Like, mm -hmm. am I gonna have enough to finish my shit? Yeah. And then you don't want to slow down because then people are like, "What the hell? He came in high and then he just slowed down." So um, I want your brand too. Like everybody knows Ken. Like that yeah, yeah, the fa he's fast, fast pace. Fast, yeah. But an hour though, every night, it, it, it's a lot, bro. Yeah, you lose your voice, and then you got two shows a night. It's it's a, it's a lot, bro. Mm -hmm. So I wanna I wanna be able to. What I did the last show in Covina, I paced myself and just slowed down completely and was doing more of that arena pace, mm -hmm. and they. Loved it. They loved it because they were able to laugh all the way, stop, and then I'll do the next joke. But instead of me interrupting their laughter, you know, yeah. where I would have let them finish laughing. So I like that a lot more. So now what I want to do for the next material that I write, besides slowing down my cadence, is to be more vulnerable and be more open about uh you know certain conversations and shit like i got a lot of funny stories that that i, I think I, I think last time i was on the podcast i told you guys about the time that i had done crystal meth with my tío. <laughs> yeah. yeah remember I, I told that story Classic. so i, I want to tell that story on stage without being scared of not getting a laughter every time i'm gonna think i think i'm gonna get a laughter yeah you know but instead tell it where people hear the story every time they're like Okay, what the fuck? That shit was yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah. you know. You're a good storyteller. Just look at the story that you told today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I mean, it's you, just you, you, you hold like when you're when you're talking about a story, you kind of hold everybody's hand while you're telling the story, but like with jokes in the middle in between, so you don't lose them. Yeah, that, that, and that's what I want to do. Like you it's really a, mi that, by the a way. mixture of the story. Thank you, man. A mixture of the story and the and the quick little punches, you know. Yeah, I think that, hey, low key. Would you say that that comes from a little bit of like. And insecurity and shit. Like I'm, I don't want to lose the crowd, so let me just fucking fire. I'm not gonna let you not think I'm funny and shit. One hundred percent. That's exactly what it is. One hundred percent. You hit it right, right in the nose. Yeah. yeah, cause like you, you attribute that to like somewhere like Dave Chappelle, where like you might not even laugh for the next five minutes, but you know that when he hits the punchline, yeah. you're gonna fucking laugh. You yeah. know. And and that motherfucker. Yeah, have you have you ever seen him perform? He'll literally have the whole room quiet as fuck. Not yeah, one person dude. saying shit, bro. Yeah. Cause everybody's like, it's so. 
intent on hearing what he has to say. Yeah, between him and Fluffy, they can they can literally tell a ten minute story. Oh, yeah, and be like, oh shit, yeah, what the crazy. fuck? But yeah. they worked for it too, though. You yeah, know, yeah. they're like. Not maybe if you're trying to do a ten minute story at a club with like people who don't know you. It's yeah, like, yeah, you're hard. gonna lose people. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna be like what? The That's why you have to put the punchlines in there. It, it it takes a lot of fucking like experience and shit. Like I fucking had to learn the hard way when like the what first and the only fuck? time I did stand up. Like I tried to get like a. First time? And only time. That's yeah. the first and only time. When I did it, I was like, you know what? Like people tell me, telling me, bro, it's okay to bomb. And I, I looked up Fluffy's first one. He fucking killed it. I was yeah. like, son of a bitch. Uh, yeah. And then I, be, I, I was gonna go up first. I was like, nah, bro. You know what? It's gonna be cool. If they don't laugh. Dream yeah. goes up, kills it. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so I was like, fuck. You're that's a child, downfall all the time. Have you done it more? No, I haven't. But well, you did it once before. I've been that. doing it. I done it once before that. I did it at the Chatterbox. And when I tell you that shit was fucking. Kicked me right in the balls, bro. Yeah. That's what it felt like, bro. Yeah, I was just it's like, humbling. Yeah, bro. And I sat down and I was like, the fuck am I doing? some bullshit. I got a week until I do the <laughs> fuck out of the improv. Like, fuck, dude. But, I mean, overall. How many, how many seats is that at the improv? It's still 300. The improv was, they said 300, bro. But it would look more like 2,000 to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's one of the smaller venues, too. The Ontario improv. That's what I hear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what I hear. Yeah. I, I feel like the, 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 the Hollywood one in... Is uh, smaller, no? The, the, uh, I think it's. Factory? I think this is, the Laugh Factory is smaller. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, the Laugh Factory is, is a kill box, though. Like, mm. if the Laugh Factory is packed, like you go there on a leg day, like when Renee Vaca show. Yeah. You gonna murder that? <laughs> I, I, when I go up there, bro, I'll be up there drunk as fuck. I'll be fucking killing. Like the room shakes, bro. Because the motherfuckers are fucked up too. And they yeah, we just be, we, you know, we just fucking because it, it, it's contagious. Like we just, it's like a, we all know that we're in this party and we're all faded and we're here yeah, to have, yeah, yeah. and we're here to have a good time. We gotta go over to your late show. Yeah, we do, we do. We, we really they get crazy, bro. bro. The smoking ones, holy shit, bro. Yeah, those are crazy. The one you did the way of smoking, everybody was, it was faded as fuck. High as fuck. High as fuck, bro. Hey, Russell, tell us a little bit about this new tour that you're you're about to announce. Well, you already announced, right? You went live on uh, Instagram with it. Yeah, um, yeah. About it. Um, so this is a tour that like um. Because, I mean, I, we kind of been on tour for, since, like, the beginning of the year of January 2023, but it's been a mixture of my, me headlining, Renee headlining, um, uh, me featuring, so we're kind of just all over the place. Now, um, you know, me and Renee have different agents, different companies, so they want us to do our own thing, you know? And, of course, when we can work together, we'll work together, but this tour is completely me as a headliner, um, completely me, you know, doing my own door deals, my own, all that shit, my own promotion, and uh, it's a tour that that was put together by the, the my agents at CAA, and they 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 had a whole plan to like uh, roll it out, you know, with like the with the like it gets announced on the day, so all ticket links is released on the same day. We keep the analytics, keep track of everything. Like it's like a legit tour, you know. It's yeah. not like yeah. A, yeah, it's not just like a, oh, those Where are more dates. Yeah. Everything is organized. Do you know that it's gonna be the sorry for the wait show? So it's gonna be like a, the hour that I'm doing right now, and I'll probably t like I mean right now we only announced like. I think like 30 cities, but we're gonna do like 100. Like, Fuck. we're not, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna announce, uh, I mean, we haven't even announced like New York City, Tucson, Phoenix, like all that shit is coming, bro. Like right now, the first half is gonna be like, it's gonna be a mixture of, of Texas, so those would be good. And then there's also gonna be a mixture of like, Upstate New York, Ohio. So it's trying to, it's gonna be some shitty shows in there. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> but I'm gonna keep promoting. I'm gonna keep putting out clips, you know, doing stuff like this so people can, if they enjoy the podcast, if you come if you live in any of those cities, man, check them out at uh, KenFlores.net. All my date, well, all the dates that have just released are there, and we're gonna announce, um, we're gonna announce another leg of the tour once we get like halfway through this one and shit. Yeah, you know Texas gonna pull up though. Oh, uh, Texas <laughs> fucking Texas loves, pulls up. Texas got, loves me. Of Texas people in Arizona. Oh, I Miami love Miami people too. Huh? You helped us a lot in the Chicago scene. New York. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. When Chicago. you came on, like we got a bunch of them out of it. Uh, they they fuck with you all out there. Yeah. Like, cause, I, cause like, when I went on, people were hitting me up too. Like, oh, I'm from Chicago. Um, oh, oh, like they're like, oh, I'm not from Chicago, but I, 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 I heard you on Ponte Las Pilas. Like, this is the, the only reason I want to do. I don't do podcasts like double times, like twice. Yeah. The only reason I want to do this one is because this is the only podcast I've ever done, and people have actually hit me up like, <laughs> "Hey, I heard you on Ponte Las Pilas podcast." <laughs> we, got some, we got some crazy motherfuckers that listen yeah. to us. Shout out to y'all. Because I, 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 I done some podcasts that nobody ever fucking. <laughs> Hit me up about that shit. Yeah. You didn't want to share that shit, huh? Nah, <laughs> shit. Should be having like a hundred views, man. nigga, like wasting my time. No, no, yeah. Make it, jo Johnny's like, oh, fuck. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah. Put the channel. Nah. <laughs>
<laughs> That's tight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. Like, fuck yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited for that. Do you know if you guys are coming to like Ontario and stuff? Yeah, all that shit, all that, bro. Like, we're not even going to announce that because that's like secure sales. So for like oh, yeah. Ontario, we're trying to do the weekend, you know? I'm not trying to do no more one-nighters. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Ontario be a weekend or a, th- a, th- a small theater. Covina, we did 1,200 tickets. So that's easily like a full-size theater. You know we're going to be there. Yeah, bro, like, hell you know? yeah, pull up, man. Sick, sick. And it's going to be uh, shit. Some, yeah, yeah, like um, right now we're doing Dallas, San Antonio, Houston. And this is probably going to be the last time we do clubs. We're probably just going to do a theater next time. Hell yeah. A bigger, a bigger show and shit. So yeah. Denver too, like... It's gonna be it's gonna be big. Like this year's gonna be big as far as the touring goes. I'm already um, I've already recorded a series XM series for Netflix. Uh, Are you still listening? Yeah. And I just got added to their Netflix is a joke festival. What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, well, like a couple weeks ago, but I just they just announced it. That's nuts. and I'll be doing. Uh, so I'm gonna run my full hour for Netflix executives at the Comedy Store main room at Cinco de Mayo. So yeah. it's gonna, it's gonna is it be just a- them or is it open to the public? Uh, no, no, no. It's open to the public. Like, tickets are, are, are going to go on sale soon. Damn, oh, what the fuck? Yeah. That's crazy. Congrats. I'm happy for you. That's man. fucking sick, man. So it'll be, it'll be dope to see that shit happen. And then, um, I mean, shit really is just a, a matter of time before I record mm-hmm. the hour, you know. But I still want to tour it because, I mean, like I said, I just kind of... Like, there's comedians that travel with their fucking hour for five, six years. Yeah. I just started coming up with this hour and I just started touring. So it's kind of like I still got to, like develop it and, and and then put it out you know and then but i'm also still working new material because there is certain cities that i've already been to like twice mm-hmm. and people do come back you know yeah so i don't want to come back with the same sh- the exact same shit you know yeah. try to but, switch it up and shit. i heard comedians say like some people just yell out like nah do that one bit <laughs> yeah, <laughs> i mean not you to do your old shit anyways that, that's the that's the good thing that like i don't have anything I don't have anything that people can distinguish me for. Yeah. You know, besides like maybe crowd work where somebody might want to be part of the show. But that's that'll come when it comes, you know. I'm really good at shutting shit down if I'm just doing my bits. But I don't have like a thing, you feel me? Yeah. Which is good because I've done shows with my boy Renee, who he's very popular. Well, he, oh, he's a leg, yeah. great comedian, great joke writer. And the, the only thing is that he, he this thing blew up is like the leg. So he'll bring people up on stage to like fuck the stool. And the crowds love it. Everybody loves it, you know. So if anybody talk shit, fuck them. But the thing is that it became such like a phenomenon that like people go to the show expecting to see that. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. want that shit, you know? Yeah, like and, it, and, and, shit. and it's cool, but then it's kind of like, you also don't want to do it right away because then it's like people are going to be like, oh, he already did it. Like, yeah. yeah. So what now? You know what I'm saying? Like, and also, Renee's doing like three shows a night and shit. Yeah, and you know, and his shows get crazy as fuck too, man. So, but yeah, but, 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 but yeah, I don't know. So nobody really uh, ever in- interrupts me about certain bits because most of my shit is either mixed up. They might know one or two jokes that went viral on, you know, but most of my shit right now is all, all newer shit that I'm that I'm kind of starting to phase out. I stopped trying to clip everything already mm-hmm. as far as material goes because I don't want to, um, I don't want people to come to the shows and be like, I already heard that. You know, I yeah. still want it to be like element of surprise for a lot of that shit. So I'm only going to start to put out crowd work clips again and then just keep the, the newer material uh, for the shows. Oh, yeah. yeah. For the pain. Has yeah. anybody, has anybody help, um, hit you up about any, like, on some movie type shit like they trying to movie type shit. type of movie shit nah I can't lie nobody but no. but you gotta think <laughs> about it though I've been the whole time I've been in that in that circle that's but, but, like, but the whole time I've been in LA there was the strike yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. so yeah, yeah. there was no movement you know yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, right. and then um, as soon as the strike ended last week uh, like a week and a half ago I just did a show with uh, Frankie Quinones and yeah. we met for the first time he's a Cholo Creeper yeah but he's on, he's on uh, he's a, I think he's like an executive producer mm-hmm. for that fool on Hulu yeah yeah so I mean I feel like I'll be a good fit for that but yeah. again I, I, I'm not a, like, I'm not a, I'm not an actor though, you feel me like I'm not saying I know how to act I deserve any parts or anything like that cause I don't got no business acting yeah. but but I remember last time you were more like on the side of like not doing it you know yeah yeah but it's and just like this time around you kind of get in that but yeah like, I mean like uh, I mean it's, it's almost back. been a year since I went on the podcast so like yeah. it, shit has been like um Shit that seemed again like shit that seemed unreachable yeah. for a long time has became possible, you know, like yeah. you know, performing in front of twenty thousand people in an arena. Now you're like, I, fuck it, I'll be the Scorpion I, King. So now it's like, man, whatever. <laughs> like at this point, I'm accepting everything, shit. Yeah. And, and, and I mean, I don't see it. I don't think it's not a possibility, but it's not something that I'm pursuing. Mm-hmm. But if it happened, it happened. 
Nah, bro. I can see it happening. You give me a movie, bro. <laughs> Hopefully, I, I want. I want to see that, bro. I don't want to see a movie. <laughs> like if they did like a Chicago movie, I'd be. <laughs> so where are you, you going to be uh, for for Christmas? Um, I'm gonna stay right here, bro. Uh, I uh, I won't be back in Chicago until March, but uh, for Christmas, uh, I'm I'm uh, I got a show in North Hollywood with my boy Renee on the 23rd. Mm-hmm. 24, 25th, I'm gonna kick it. The family, maybe here by myself, I don't know. And then uh, New Year's, I got, I'm, I'm, I'm closing the year out at the Haha Comedy Club. I'll be headlining the whole weekend. I'm doing their countdown and everything, so it should be real fun. But now nah, I'm not, I'm not going home for the, uh, for the holidays. You miss the holidays out there in uh, Chicago? <laughs> not really, bro. Like my family, I don't have a big family, mm-hmm. so my, my holidays were always just like the people that I lived with, my mom, my dad, and my sister, yeah. and that was it. it um, our nights would end pretty early, to be honest with you, or I would just go out after, you know. With the homies and shit yeah. but I always hated that because they were always with their families like they got all my cousins yeah. and, and we got you know we got 40 people at the house I never yeah, I, 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 I never had play, yeah, like, I never I, I never had a big family so I ain't yeah. I never knew what that was like you feel me so I, it, it's not like um it's not like, oh my God, I can't miss Christmas at my mom. Like, yeah, don't yeah. shit happen. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, so, Shout out mom. Wow, yeah. They yeah, it yeah. Cause Cause I, like one of those things where like, all of a sudden you leave and they're like, oh, what the fuck? We, yeah, we yeah. want you here for the holidays. Like, yeah, yeah, but they, they know. You feel me? They know. Yeah, yeah. And then, um, shit, my girl just moved in with me here. We spent Thanksgiving here by ourselves. Yeah. So, it was. I mean, it was. we were by ourselves for like dinner. Yeah. And then my cousin showed up uh, that, that do live out here in L.A. Yeah. They came through with a fucking Nas tank, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but man, Friends bro, LA, man like th- 30 minutes before we were thanking the Lord for the food, <laughs> for the food. 20 yeah. minutes later, we yeah. hitting the motherfucking balloons and shit. <laughs> Fill up my balloon, eh? <laughs> The uh, momo so serio. Here we got stuffing, turkey, we got jumbos over there. Yeah, Nas <laughs> right there. Yeah. Yeah, that's fucking funny. Yeah. Damn, bro. We're excited for you. I'm so excited for all the shit you got planned and shit. Thank you, man. Shit, man. I'm I'm excited to see what happens, bro. I got, I'm, I'm happy to see y'all still being consistent with this shit. This shit hard, bro. Fuck it. Like to be consistent, like, especially the amount of people that's on y'all team, you know, it's fucking five people right here. Yeah, but we gotta yeah, split yeah. the shit six ways, bro. Yeah. Bro, like <laughs> we're not making it out the hood, bro. <laughs> nah, but I'm not right going now. to the strip club, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bro, tell you that, We're gonna ask you We can rent this shit Out of the studio <laughs> But like Just to, to schedule Bro I, I used to do My own podcast mm-hmm. By myself Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was still Miss weeks Like <laughs> I'd be like Sick <laughs> If I call it I, I literally I hit up my producer Like ah, I'm not feeling it today bro Like I, I can't really talk I got strep throat I'm like nigga you, I was just On the phone with you earlier What are you talking about <laughs> But But but, but but like for you guys to still meet up and do this shit, man, like it's really inspirational because you got you gotta be consistent. I tell people like people be thinking you just finna get to this part. I mean, not saying y'all are comedians or anything, but I'm saying like people back home they'd be like, oh, like I'm a, like y'all Ken got lucky or Ken did it. like nah, bro, you nah, gotta you gotta work 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 until this shit pop, bro. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. y'all too deep in now. What is it, 241 episodes you said? Yeah, about, yeah. we about to break up in like 10 episodes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think y'all just need like a friendly exhibition match. Yeah, <laughs> oh, a boxing <laughs> at the strip club? like a like a bo- like a boxing yeah. ter- a boxing tournament. Yeah. Yeah. Like eating contest at the strip club. Eating contest. Yeah, 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 yeah. The yeah. Yeah. You think I can box? Man, you better learn. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. to get some putazos off each other. I, I feel like sometimes you need pizza more like sometimes that. you need that shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, we've definitely That's talked high about high stuff like right. that. Did you have like over there in you know, Chicago was it like snowy and shit out there with during Christmas around that time? I, I don't know, like, does it get snowy? Nigga, Christmas hasn't even passed yet. Yeah, I'm back. Well, I'm back uh, oh, before? Yeah, before, but that's why. Um, it you it used to bro like like when I was growing up, you would never see a clear Christmas. It was always white, mm-hmm. always white, bro. Uh, and like as the time went by, bro, like it just you know climate change and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It don't be snowing no more. Like it's you might get trippin'. lucky if you get a snow like in January, February, yeah. but that's it, bro. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not there, so I don't know. Yeah. But but, but from the last that. couple of years I was there. Mm-hmm. It didn't even used to snow like that no more, bro. It wouldn't even get cold like that anymore and shit. Yeah. It, but back back in the day, I remember growing up, that shit used to be up to my knees. It's like snow was crazy. <laughs> Motherfuckers used to make like 
Buku bucks cleaning that shit up, bro. For yeah. get paid like sixty an hour, yeah. clean snow, bro. Yeah. Work like twenty hours, you know, in like like one shift. Yeah. Twenty hours, they would clean and for it like just a, keeps snowing, so a whole, and it keeps snowing. So, so they you do you get a fucking three thousand dollar check <laughs> for one time of cleaning snow and shit. Yeah. I never did it, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember I had a homie. Uh, yeah. Shout out my doggy chins. He fucking chins. Shot, yeah, my boy chins. Shout out chins. Yeah. yeah, y'all met him too. He he came to the house. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Shout out. Chance. But but that fool um he signed up one time to clean snow and at the first stop this nigga calls calls somebody hey pick me up nigga fuck <laughs> <laughs> fuck this shit <laughs> this shit cold oh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck, fuck all that bro. like fucking twelve inches of snow and shit like, bro fuck that. you gotta have a good I don't even want to clean my own driveway bro like yeah. you even clean your own apartment my fuck. bro I'm God I got the late, the, <laughs> the late yeah. shout out la señora la Sally she she be cleaning my shit man yeah. For I'm lazy as fuck, bro. This is our Christmas. Yeah. 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 That's good, bro. This is it right here. Nah, it's good. kind of get depressing, bro. Nah, this because is the good. Movies, bro. You gotta remember us. We see yeah. the movies of just like it's no shit. Yeah. That's how Christmas is supposed to look. Yeah. How we get it? This crap. Yeah. Nah, but look, I tell you what though, like My rain. once Christmas is over, like once Christmas passes, like December 26th, now it's just cold. <laughs> you feel me? Like yeah, ain't yeah. no reindeer, nigga. Ain't no <laughs> er, every no wonder and hope. Everybody broke as fuck. <laughs> like, January, February, March. Hey. Yeah, it'd be cold. Cards will fucking yeah. start. Credit cards are through the fucking limit, like Man, your house a mess because you got all these toys for your dumb ass kid. <laughs> it's, it's bad, bro. You don't want that shit, bro. The strip clubs, are they popping after Christmas? With strip clubs? Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> you don't go to that shit. Yeah, you don't go to- oh, I, I was asking your boy, bro. Nah, yeah, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, we was just there last night, man. Yeah. They got be- shit, man. They got the best strip club. Houston got the best strip club. Yeah, I they, heard they, that, they, bro. I've heard that. We went to the strip club in, uh, in Houston called um, The Library. So you walk in oh. and it's just bookshelves. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. you got to pull like a secret lever yeah. and the doors open it's an after hours uh strip club so they open like at 1 a.m yeah it's like 1 to 5 or 1 to 6 a.m bro and it just get crazy i went in there with a uh this jeweler shout out plug geo um i went in there with a uh, little mexico jenny 69 mm-hmm. just a whole bunch of like get money motherfuckers like they all had permanent diamond grills big old yeah. dumb ass, like rapper chains you shouldn't use yeah. all that shit bro and they all like had a big old stupid water cash so I was like, man, fuck it. I'm on the same tip then. Fuck it. <laughs> I was on one. I feel like I was on one. So I pulled out like, um, bro, I pulled out like two grand from my business account. Oh, then my fuck. boy, my boy let me hold another two that I Venmo him for. And then, bro, it got to a point where like I had to, like, I ran through four bands. Like, we just, like, it was green. That's crazy. It was green. And then I, I, I was like. Fucking one more just to, yeah. one, one more just to, <laughs> to regret it good. Yeah, yeah. And um, I went to go make the transfer, and it wouldn't fucking let me, bro. Uh, so I call, uh, so I call my boy Chins. My boy Chins, he takes care of all, chins, right? all my money and shit. Yeah, so I, bro, I'm so it was like three and thirty, four in the morning, bro. I'm in Houston. There's no time change, so it's four in the morning over there in Chicago. Yeah, I got wake him up, and he just had a newborn, bro. So his newborn is like, <laughs> you know, he every time he. Every minute he get to sleep, he cherish it. And I'm over here waking his ass up. Yeah. I'm in the kitchen of the strip club. <laughs> they got me in the kitchen before I could talk on the phone. They can yeah. hear me. I'm like, bro, wake up. Yeah. He's like, what, what, what? He thought something happened. Yeah. He's like, what do you need, bro? He's like, I was like, I need you to sell this number a thousand dollars right now. He thought you kidnapped, bro. <laughs> He's like, all right, I got you. He sold it. I was just waiting there, waiting there, waiting. Finally, this fucking Guatemalan comes out from the kitchen <laughs> with a wrapper of my last thousand. Yeah. She unwrapped that shit through all that. Sh- I threw, I threw out of that thousand, I threw like three hundred fifty <laughs> because, um, because they closed. Yeah. Not because I was being smart. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of time to throw the money. Yeah. So now I got a stack about maybe like this big, about 800 bucks, bro. Yeah. And um, we get this one bitch. I- I'm in a hotel. I'm sharing I'm sharing rooms. I blew $5,000 at the strip club, but I'm sharing rooms with a nigga <laughs> at a Super 8 somewhere. Yeah. And uh, now we're at a double tree. Yeah. And, um, and um, we tell this stripper, like, what's well, so up? You do private parties? Like, come back to the... 
to the hotel strip. And she's like, yeah, fuck it. So she came back to our hotel at this point, bro. It, bro, we at my hotel is like 7 in the morning, 7.30 in the morning. Yeah. People are already having breakfast in the lobby. <laughs> we walking in all smelling like pussy and <laughs> reg regret. Yeah. This bitch walking with a trench coat like she not naked under that motherfucker. <laughs> and we go into the room, bro, and she just starts shaking that. She brought a little Bluetooth speaker and shit. <laughs> And, um, put that on her pussy, like, bro. <laughs> she bought still, money, bro. It still, it still had the raw sticker on, bro. Here. Everything, bro. Swap me shit. And then she's like, um, she's like, oh, I'm PNB Rock's sister. And I was like, PNB, the rapper that just died. Mm -hmm. She's like, yeah, that was my brother. I was like, that was your brother, brother, or like he came to the strip club once and yeah. threw, yeah. threw you a shitload of money. Yeah. So then she started pulling out baby pictures of them, oh, like, man. like it was real deal. Her brother, bro. Now and you, I was like, just damn. Your dick hard but I was like, damn. <laughs> I was like, damn. But one of my favorite songs to, to fucking to listen to at the strip club is Every Day We Lit yeah. by PNB Rock and YFN Lucci. Yeah. So I was like, bro, I'm not finna not hear my song. Like, because <laughs> that, that that's his sister. Like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> oh, well. So I told her, I was like, you think it's cool if I play that song? And she was like, it's going to be weird, but... I guess they do it at the club. All the <laughs> nigga, I blasted that shit. Uh, you can't tell me nothing. I'm, 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 yeah. He's shaking ass and shit. Yeah. Like, like tear, shit. His tears coming down from her face and shit. Uh, like, uh, I'm hitting that bitch with bills. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, it's just for comedy purposes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just comedy purposes. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking funny, bro. Damn, bro. Oh shit! Now we don't be doing none of that shit, bro. We just <laughs> there's a library out here, though. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, actually, an IE, an IE, an IE, not here. I always was thinking we were over there. Oh yeah, but a, that shit's a franchise, bro. It's like Bakers now. They just popping up now everywhere. <laughs> but yeah, bro. Like I, I mean, last time I was there. Fog, we were just standing there like idiots, bro. We were just against the wall and Thirsty shit. Thirsty right? ass, what you Yeah, yeah bro. Broke it, nigga, nah. <laughs> Bro, I went to the bar, I ordered some wings, I ordered uh, some mac and cheese and shit. I was like, bro, this You had a full bomb. dinner? But yeah. <laughs> I, it was funny because that's the same shit yesterday. Like, um, that second strip club we went to, um, Everybody was against the wall Just yeah. standing bro I can't afford no table And then um, <laughs> So it's just me and him Walking around With like lots of cash yeah. And I'm just like Man fuck it bro And like the DJ be funny as hell He's like Oh we finally got some ballers In the building oh. <laughs> <laughs> Now you broke ass motherfuckers Been standing against the wall All night I was like Bro if the DJ was Disrespecting me like that I'll walk home <laughs> Like That nigga was just Looking straight at it You broke ass nigga <laughs> You ain't throw no yeah. money yeah. I was like, God damn. Yeah, bro. The library is <laughs> fuck shit, it's though. Really wild. Shit. I don't know. That's Yeah, yeah that's we don't want to hold you, bro, because we nah, probably want to wanna get to sleep and shit. Nah, you good. Finally, right bro. Uh, you good, you good, you good. Shit, Appreciate y'all that... pulling up, man. Nah. Yeah, Appreciate y'all. You, you want to plug your tour one more time? Yeah. Bro? Yeah, man. Sorry for the wait tour. Tickets at KenFlores.net. Uh, I'm coming everywhere, fool. So Texas, uh, New York, Ohio, Nebraska, Kansas City, fucking San Diego, everywhere, everywhere. North Hollywood, I'm going to be there bringing in the New Year uh, uh, at the Ha Comedy Club. Get your fucking tickets, man. Um, more tour dates dropping, maybe some more stuff with Fluffy. So I'll let y'all know, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I know you, you promoted a little bit on Johnny's video, but you got... <laughs> Your uh your merch out too? Oh yeah, I got some merch uh, finally too. Um it's not really online yet. If you want to buy something, DM me. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm only saving them for the for the for the tour. Yeah. Right okay, now. So, cool. so you, you, once they come out then they can purchase it. Yeah, I'm I'm saying like exclusively for live shows and then um Maybe for my second batch, I'll, I'll, I'll have like a, I'll have them on my website. Yeah, okay. that's what's up, brother. That's uh, anybody else? Shoutouts? Shout uh, just uh, I, I want to give a shout out to everybody that be be supporting all, all, all my friends and family. Uh, a big shout, a big shout out to my parents. <laughs> um, <laughs> shout out! A big shout out to Ken for getting pizza yeah. and uh, just allowing us to be recording his home and your new video. And my, my new video, I was getting there. And, and my new video just came out. It's on my channel, Jetfield. It's what Ken going to watch it. I just fucking hilarious and just a big shout out to all my friends yo yeah Beto shout out everybody here shout out Ken for having us of course uh, shout out Ken for letting us film a video for Johnny's channel go watch that <laughs> on Jeff Field and yeah. shout out my girl shout out his girl he's in love, <laughs> he's in love. They just shout out my girl shout out my girl yeah. too she, she's, a, she's a stripper bro the one oh we're, all right, all right. Yeah, she's crazy. Hey, her brother was PMB that's crazy yeah. that was <laughs> hey, you're PMB <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but shout out everybody listening shout out the truckers yeah, yeah. Hey, shout out to everybody who's been listening sharing our shit uh, shout Shout out Maple Alley. Make sure you guys want to see any of our videos for the fantasy football or the new shit we're dropping. Make sure you guys go check it out. 
uh also be my music uh shout out to everybody that's here right now the shout out for this homie right here he's been saying he's been cool as fuck chilling, cam man. floors obviously and uh yeah make sure you guys go buy some fucking tickets because this is one of the funniest motherfuckers on earth you know? and, and he has the credentials now to back it too <laughs> so make sure y'all go check that out man and with that, <laughs> yeah shout out my girl my family and friends obviously yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like shout out my girl. Yeah. Shout out my girl. Shout out Johnny's girl. That's yeah. right. Oh, little Debbie. Uh, <laughs> shout out the wholesome last night. Yeah. Yeah. Strippers. Shout, shout out the strippers. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm my shout out the bartenders. They, they, they cover it all. Shout out this cocaine, this heroin, and these yeah. fucking sure. yeah. Crystal the meth. And shout out to the homie Ken. Hey, bro, for real though, uh, you're crushing it, man. And uh, just. We're not trying to see you in the hospital no more. Nah, 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 yeah. man. We getting it. Loud, we getting it. We Pick getting it. We getting it. Pick your fucking medicine. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we get to the Ontario. Oh, yeah. after that, we do it. After for that, you yeah. do it anymore, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I got you. I got you. I got you. Nah. Appreciate yeah, nah, y'all. Thanks for letting us be in your home, bro. Of like, course, man. Like, hell yeah. It's cozy. It's chill. Like your your homies here. He's been chill with us too. So hell yeah, hell yeah. And uh, yeah, I think uh, yeah. Shout out to all the homies. Shout out to everyone who's gonna buy tickets. If you're gonna buy tickets, like. And, you saw them. You saw him promote it here. Let him know. Let yeah. DM him. Let him know that you got him yep. here. That we can keep coming back. Yes, yeah. sir. Because yeah, the first time you came oh, yeah. through, you came all the way from Chicago. There's some people. I mean, I told you that the day of when you came. I'll tell you again. There's people who live 20 minutes from us. They're like, nah, that's, that's too far. Go. And I'm like, all right, bro. Yeah, real people like Kenneth. So that's why when you said, can you guys go over here? I was more than happy to make the trip. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate yeah, y'all. Did it for us already. Thank y'all, man. Appreciate. Yeah, shout out to everybody. Twenty percent off his tickets. Use code. Oh. Nah, flame. <laughs> <shoot. laughs> <Flame. laughs> <laughs> Hey yo! Your master fees. Yeah. yeah, the transaction fees. You know how yeah. many medical bills were? Yeah. Oh god! Man, I think you might have to charge. I'm changing my identity. <laughs> I ain't gonna pay. You put the code in, it charges you double. Bro, on God, on God. <laughs> yeah, but again, shout out to T, shout out my family, shout out my girl. With that, we out. Peace. 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 Lace.